News Radio 600. Kogo. Kogo News Time, 611. Well, there's a new study that's found that if you get enough sunshine as a child, it can actually cut your chances of needing glasses as an adult by about a fifth. Really? Yeah. Dr. Albert Pang is on the Kogo News Live line. And Dr. Pang, there are already a lot of studies that show kids are not outside enough, perhaps too busy on their smartphones, Snapchatting, Facebook. What does this tell us? Actually, this is a study. There's a study originated from Australia. They're trying to uh, study children um, in school, um, comparing the time of uh, outdoor time versus those that need glasses, um, how much time they spend outdoor versus indoor. They find that a stunning um, result is that those spend about one and a half to two hours average um, daily outdoor uh, do have a a uh, much lower chance of developing the um, nearsightedness in the six-year study. Now, what is what part of being outdoors is good for your eyes? Because we hear a lot as adults that we should go out only if we've got UV protection in our sunglasses. Yes, actually, I mean, this still applies to children, um, that you have to, again, protect yourself from the UV um, radiation. But what they're trying to say here is nothing to do with physical activities. It's more to do with the brightness of the light outdoor versus indoor. Um, you don't have to run or jog or do any physical activity. You can just spend time walking or just, you know, spend time even exposing yourself in the, in the natural light will help you with the eye development. They believe that it's more to do with the sun, um, the intensity of the sun causing the production of dopamine. And dopamine is a natural chemical that occurs in our body. Um, the isolated dopamine in the eyes were able to help you to um, stop the elongations of the eyeball. That's exactly what happened with nearsightedness uh, children. The eyeball is too elongated. So how much outdoor time is suggested? Different studies have different saying um, from 40 minutes all the way to one and a half hours outdoor time. That's what they suggest. And is that per day or per week? That's per day. That's per day. day. 40, yes. 40 minutes to one and a half hours, uh, one and a half hours outdoor time uh, per day. That's what they recommend. Now, does any of this help adults with their vision? Because our vision starts going wonky, you know, when we, as we get older. Should we be trying to look into the distance and, and focus in the distance? Does that help us too? That's um, for for adults, it's more to do with the efficiency of the eye. As you look at a computer for too long, um, you notice that your eye will get tired and you're not able to function as well. You're not able to read as fast because the eye is getting tired. But for us, like um, taking a break every 20 minutes, uh, looking at something far away, 20 feet and beyond, for 20 seconds, more for efficiency. It's not that much about stopping us from having the eye get worse. Um, age by itself, we're able to, is actually itself is going to deteriorate our eyes naturally. There's nothing we can stop it. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's Dr. Albert Pang, an optometrist with uh, combating nearsightedness for your kids. You've got to get them out in the sunlight for almost an hour a day. Good idea anyway. Well, yeah, they yeah. need to get the vitamin D, they need the dopamine, and they need to focus in the distance because we're spending too much time... Very right true. Right here. Right on the tablet.